Hi friends, welcome back to Asana with Samantha. Now Valentine's Day is this week and with it come a lot of comes a lot of focus on like romantic relationships. Now whether you're in a relationship or not, I don't really care for this flow. It doesn't really matter. What I would like to focus on today is self-love. So whether you are in a romantic relationship or not, it requires life in general requires some self-love. If you want to be successful in friendships or relationships, you have to love yourself as well. Now I'm not talking about like the prideful look out for number one. I I'm just going to look out for myself. That's not what I'm talking about. Obviously, in any of these situations, you're going to have to care about others. But what I'm talking about is the principle that is behind what flight attendants say on, air, on airplanes <laughs> of wanting to secure your own mask before putting it on other people. Basically, you need to be secure in yourself and love yourself in order to be more able to extend that love to others. So that's the focus of our flow today. All you need is one block. So grab your block and then let's go ahead and get started. You can go ahead and prop yourself up on the block and just start in an easy position. If you want to cross the legs or just place one foot in front of the other, either way is totally fine. You can place the hands palm up on the knees and then close off the eyes. Now in this position, I want you to draw your energy down to each and every point of view that is connected to the mat. Now throughout our lives, we spend a lot of times up in our head or on our phones and it makes us feel kind of off. <laughs> and so the best way to counter that and to center yourself is to draw that energy down. And if you're like, how do I manipulate my energy? Just bring your focus downward, down toward the earth. Breathe, pay attention to your breath, become in tune with your body. hard to love something that you are unfamiliar with. And so step one is becoming in tune with yourself, in tune with your body. This is the body you're living in. You're not going to get a different one. <laughs> so become acquainted with it. The best way to do that is by focusing on the breath. Take two more breaths this way. Don't need to manipulate the breath in any way. Just two more breaths focusing on the inhales and the exhales and how that affects your body. Does it expand your abdomen or your rib cage? Do your shoulders move when you breathe? Things to observe. Go ahead and blink open the eyes. All right. Inhale, arms come all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Again, it's like you're scooping energy and love up into the air and then you're bringing it back down to yourself. I know that sounds corny, but go with me. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, bring it back down to yourself. All right, one last time. Inhale, all the way up and exhale. Draw that energy, that love back down to yourself. All right, inhale up, and as you exhale, twist to the right. So your right hand comes behind you as a kickstand, left hand on the outside of your right thigh. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist deeper. And no matter how deep you get into this twist, if you're just here, that's okay. Practice love and acceptance for the body that you are in. Inhale, come up, exhale, twist to the left. We can strengthen and stretch our bodies, but we cannot trade them. No matter how fit you get, if you aren't practicing self-love, it's never gonna be enough. As cheesy as it sounds, you have to learn to love the skin you're in. Inhale, back up to center, exhale, hands down through heart center. Go ahead and place the hands on the knees, just palm down. We're gonna do a little seated cat and cow. So as you inhale, draw the chest forward, chin comes up, sit bones go back and broad. And as you exhale, round the spine. Sit bones tuck under, chin to chest. Inhale, come forward. So you're shining your heart out. And as you exhale, 
Bring some of that energy back into yourself as you round. One more. Inhale, come forward, and exhale, round. Come back to a neutral spine. Let's do a couple of half neck rolls. So as you inhale, bring right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, chin comes to chest. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, come up to the right. Exhale down. Inhale to the left. Exhale down. Go ahead and bring your chin up so your neck is neutral. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder and then place your right hand on top of your head. So we're not yanking, we're just gentle, placing gentle pressure there. Just adding a little bit of weight to deepen that stretch. If you wanna take it a step further, you can extend that left leg out long and flex that hand back toward you. You'll feel it all the way up that arm and through that left side of your neck. This is too intense, feel free to just drop that arm. Right, go ahead and release, come back up to center. And then as you exhale, drop over to the left, place that left hand on top of your head. Again, we're not pulling. And then if you'd like, you can take that right arm out. <sighs> Breathe. All right, come back up to the center. If you feel like you need to, you know, wiggle your neck out a little bit more, feel free. <laughs> Go ahead and remove the block. We'll swing our legs around. Place the hands and spread through the fingers, really press down through those knuckle ridges, tuck under the toes, and then bring the bottom all the way up for a first downward facing dog. Go ahead and take a moment to set the posture. You can pedal through the feet, stretch through those hamstrings. If you want to take a nice deep bend in the knee to set the spine, feel free to do so before straightening the legs. But bring the focus to lengthening that spine, growing tall. Your sit bones are reaching up toward the sky, your neck is extending long. <clears throat> Breathe here. Feel the support of your hands and your feet. <clears throat> and go ahead and walk your feet up to the hands. You can place them about hip width apart. Take a nice deep bend in the knees, grab hold of opposite elbows, and then just hang here and ragdoll for a moment. If you want, you can find some stillness or if you want to sway, Listen to your body and do whichever one feels right to you. Take one more breath here. Feel your back body expanding. And then as you exhale, feel your head just drawing a little bit further down toward the ground. Right on an inhale. Go ahead and peel the body all the way up to stand. Head and neck. Come last. Good job. All right. We're going to do a couple of sun salutations. <laughs> Inhale, arms come all the way up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest. You can either come to fingertips, to shins, or to thighs. I want you to come to wherever you can get to while still keeping a flat back. Okay? Spine is straight. Exhale, plant the hands and step back to a high plank. Now again, this is your body, so listen to it. If you feel like you need a modification, you want to come down to the knees, that is totally fine. Please feel free to do that. Just listen to your body, okay? Otherwise, you can stay in this high plank. We'll go ahead and lower down through chaturanga, and then inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. If at any point in any of my flows you feel you need to take a modification, don't feel shame in that. Using modifications does not make you any weaker than anybody else. It means that you are honoring the integrity of the pose and you are honoring your body by listening to what it needs. I love props. I love modifications. Do not consider myself to be a bendy person. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, inhale, and then on an exhale, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. 
and exhale, hands down through heart center. Good job, let's do that one more time. Inhale, arms come up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create some space. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump, back to your high plank. Go ahead and lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now, option, you can either stay in your regular downward facing dog, or if you'd like, you can take this little variation. Take your right hand and reach down to your left ankle. Come into a revolve downward facing dog. I really like this position because it makes me feel like my body is like sheltering me from the rain or I don't know, maybe that's cheesy. But you can feel the support and the shelter that your body is giving you. It's wonderful. Go ahead and unwind and take your left hand, reach down to your right ankle. Yeah, you can peek out from underneath your elbow. Like, what's up, Sky? Breathe. All right, go ahead and inhale and unwind. You can step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Good job. All right, we're gonna do a couple of sunbees, so build a little bit more heat. <laughs> all right, inhale, chair position. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, plant the hand, step or jump back to your high plank. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, lifting from the inner thigh. Inhale, left leg comes up. Then go ahead and open through the hip. You can bend through that top knee. Take it a little bit deeper. And now leading with that left foot, go ahead and come over all the way into wild thing. Open that chest up toward the sky. Feel confidence in this pose. Breathe. Go ahead and release the bum down to the ground. You can scoot your weight into the center of your mat. Cross that left leg over the right. Inhale through a tall. As you exhale, give that knee a hug and twist all the way to the left. Breathe. Your breath is your friend. It can help you get deeper into stretches. It can nourish your muscles when you're feeling faint. Use your breath to your advantage. All right, on an inhale, you can unwind. And then we're going to actually turn toward the left to come back up into a three-leg dog. So plant your hands behind you on the left side. Allow your right foot to rotate so that your toes come down to the ground. And then just bring that left leg all the way back up for your three-leg dog. Place that foot down on the ground. And then we'll lift from the inner thigh. Right leg comes up. Then go ahead and open through the hip. You can bend that top knee. And then leading with that foot, come all the way back into wild thing. Again, shine that heart forward to the sky. Confidence. You got this. Go ahead and lower the bum down to the ground. Again, you can center yourself on your mat. Cross that right leg over the left. Inhale to grow tall, and as you exhale, give that knee a hug and twist to the right. Breathe. All right, on an inhale, you can unwind and prepare yourself. <laughs> then plant both your hands, twisting around to the right. Allow that left foot to turn. Bring it in a little if you need to, and come back up for that three-leg dog. Go ahead and plant that foot down. Breathe here. Got to skip the vinyasas on this one. <laughs> All right, inhale, and then on an exhale, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair position. Whoop, 
lose my balance. <laughs> Arms come up, and then as you exhale, stand all the way up, hands come down through heart center. Good job. All right, let's do that one more time. Inhale, chair position. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump. Back to your high plank. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting from the inner thigh. Right leg comes up. Exhale, bring the knee to nose. Keep your hips high so you can plant that foot between your hands. Angle your back foot about 45 degrees and then use your leg strength to come all the way up for warrior one. Good work. Hold here for a moment to catch your breath if you lost it. I know my breath is a little <laughs> shaky. It's always a good idea to just tap in, take control of that breath again. All right, from here, shift your weight into that right foot and come all the way forward into warrior three. So lift that lat back leg up and come forward, warrior three. Now hinge at the hips, come all the way up to stand without touching those left feet to the floor. Bring them all the way through. You can bring hands down to heart center and extend that leg forward for standing balance. Breathe here. All right, without touching that toe to the ground, bring it back one more time. You can stay upright though. Grab hold with your left hand for a quad stretch. <laughs> Don't kick yourself if you're losing balance, I am too. And then go ahead and kick back into that hand for a dancer variation. If you'd like, you can bring your arm out forward like a bow and arrow type of dancer variation. With the kick back into that hand. And then come forward. We'll place that foot down on the ground. You can shake out your right leg. <laughs> I know it's a lot on one foot. All right, place that foot down. Step back with your left foot into a high lunge. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back to your high plank, vinyasa. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And then let's repeat on the left side. So inhale, square hips, left leg comes up. Bring knee to nose, plant that foot between the hands. Angle that right foot about 45 degrees and come up for warrior one. Hold here. Catch your breath. Now we're gonna be doing some balances on that left foot. So if you'd like, you can take the opportunity to spread through the toes on that left foot. Prepare your base. If you felt like you were toppling a little bit on the right side, that can help. <laughs> so you feel free to do that right now. All right, on an inhale, bring that weight forward. Come all the way up for warrior three. Hold here and then come all the way up. Don't touch that toe to the ground unless you have to. And if you do have to, don't kick yourself. <laughs> Send that right leg out long, bring hands down to heart center. Hold here. Breathe. All right, again, without touching that toe to the ground, Bring your right leg back, grab hold with your right hand for a quad stretch, and then kick back into that right hand for dance variation. You can extend that left arm out forward if you'd like. Woo! <laughs> See, if you fall, that's okay. Just try, try again, right? Kick back. Beautiful. All right, Woo! See, totally losing it, you guys. It's all good. Come back forward <laughs> and you can place that foot down on the ground, shake out through your left foot and you'll feel some strain in that ankle and then place your right foot back for a high lunge, plant the hands, step back to your high plank and then vinyasa, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here to catch your breath if you lost it. <sighs> One more breath. 
and inhale, and then on an exhale, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up to chair position. As you exhale, hands down through heart center. Good job. I know that was a lot. All right, inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Really give yourself a hug in this forward fold. So if that means just grabbing hold of your ankles, that's fine. If you feel like you can wrap all the way around, it's awesome. Whatever your variation is of hugging yourself in this position, just take it. Give yourself some love. Breathe. All right, inhale, plant the hands, bend the knees, and then you can just roll all the way down to the back. <laughs> now, for fun, and I do mean for fun, the stakes could not be lower. We're going to practice rocking and rolling and seeing if you can come to balance in a pistol squat. Now, if you don't know what a pistol squat is, it looks like this. So, come up, grab hold of your toe, okay? And you balance like this, okay? This is a pistol squat. So, you might make it, you might not. There's no pressure. It's just for fun. So, let's practice. I want you to practice coming up three times on the right leg and three times on the left leg. So, give it a try. Rock and roll, see if you can Come up to balance. If you don't, then try, try again, right? You might find that you're better on one side than on the other. Whoop. You might find that you're falling over every time. That's okay. <laughs> or maybe you've got this down to a T and you can just do it no problem. If so, good for you. You've probably been practicing for a while. <laughs> Things like this don't generally come naturally to most people, so. Once you've done your three on each side, go ahead and just come up to balance on your sit bones and give yourself another hug. Just like so. Whew. My balance is crazy today. And that's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit it out because I want you guys to see that I am not perfect. <laughs> Breathe here. Feel the support that you can by just simply giving yourself a hug. Hold your knees in place. You can support yourself. Doesn't necessarily mean that you should cut other people out, but you can provide support for yourself. And you should provide support for yourself with or without other people. All right, come on down your back. <laughs> Grab hold of your block. Plant your feet so they should be at about your fingertips. If you need to scoot them in, feel free to do that. Tuck your shoulder blades under your back and then go ahead and lift your buns up and place the block right underneath your sacrum. So we're just in a restorative bridge pose. So you can just relax here. If you want to place your hands on the belly, palm up on the ground, totally up to you. Do what feels good to you. This is a restful position. Breathe. Again, you can feel that support of the ground under your feet. You can feel the support of the block underneath your sacrum, the mat underneath your shoulder blades and your head. Feel those grounding points, but also feel the support of the earth underneath you. Allow yourself to just relax here. Safe space. All right, take your right knee, pull it in. Okay, so you're grabbing hold with your right hand and then extend your left leg out long. So you're stretching through these hip flexors and the abdomen, through your psoas.
All right, go ahead and bring both knees up. Grab hold of the left knee with your left hand and then extend your right leg out long. Should be feeling this on the other side. At any point in these stretches, you feel like you need to stay a little longer than I'm allowing you to, please listen to your body. That's totally fine. You can catch up and pause me, whatever you need to do. So bring that right knee up. You place both feet down on the ground, lift the bum, remove the block, and then cross your left leg, sorry, your left ankle over your right knee, thread the hands behind the right thigh, Flex that left foot, and as you exhale, draw those legs toward you. Breathe. Inhale. Unwind, cross the right ankle over the left knee, thread the hands behind the left thigh, flex that right ankle, and as you exhale, draw those legs toward you. One more breath. All right, go ahead and release that. Place your feet down at the wide edge of your mat and just window wipe the legs back and forth. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and then just exhale it all through the mouth. Nice cleansing breathing. All right, we can make our way into Shavasana. So you can take whichever variation you would like. If you want to do traditional, feet out the mat, whatever feels good to your body, listen to your body. Go ahead and tuck the shoulder blades underneath the back and then close off the eyes. I'm gonna give you some homework in your Shavasana. I want you to think of three things that you really love about yourself. They can be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, whatever. Think of three things that you love about yourself. It'll come easier to some than others. If you're struggling with it, that's okay. See if you can think of those three things before the end of the day. And bring your presence back into the body. And start to wiggle the fingers and toes. Trying to bring the soles of the feet to the ground. And when you feel ready in your own time, go ahead and roll to whichever side feels comfortable to you today. Make your way up into a comfortable seated position. Eyes remain closed. Bring hands to heart center. You can blink open the eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for flying with me today. I hope that this was helpful to you. I hope you're feeling a little bit more self-love for yourself today. And I hope that it helps you feel a little bit more prepared for the bombardment that can be Valentine's Day. So <laughs> if that's the case, 
or if this was not helpful. Either way, please comment below and let me know how this flow went for you. If you did like it, please be sure to like and subscribe. There are new flows every Tuesday and Saturday. And if you'd like to be notified every time that there's a new upload, please feel free to hit that little notification bell. Thank you again so much for flowing with me today. Have a swell day and namaste.